man convicted of setting fire to his own food truck in order to collect insurance money learned his fate today. Our Alani Latang brings us the latest live from downtown San Diego. Alani. Maria, good evening. Avante Hartsfield will spend the next five years and four months in prison. And even today, he still maintains his innocence, even saying that he doesn't believe the prosecution um, presented their evidence to really uh, prove that he did it. And, you know, this despite a jury finding him guilty of arson and insurance fraud. And the judge and the deputy district attorney said it was Hartsfield lack of remorse and responsibility that played into his sentencing. The defendant shall be committed to the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation for the total term of five years, four months, with credits, 58 actual. In custody and representing himself, 27-year-old Avante Hartsfield will spend the next five years and four months in state prison for arson, insurance fraud, and grand theft. It's the maximum sentence allowed. The judge and deputy district attorney Judy Tashner says Hartsfield's lack of responsibility and remorse played into the sentencing. So he is still blaming others and to this day there's zero, there's been zero taking of responsibility or any remorse for what happened and the amount of money that he took. Hartsfield maintaining his innocence. I do understand um, that the prosecution and the court would like to see an acceptance of responsibility. However, still, I am denying the fact that I was even there. Overwhelmingly, the evidence would have proved that. Throughout the trial, the prosecution still was unable to prove that how the fire even started. Again, there's no evidence that anybody else was involved in this other than Mr. Hartsfield himself. This February, a jury found Hartsfield did set his own food truck on fire, rolling roots, back in October 2021 outside his Kearney Mesa office. At first, Hartsfield claimed someone targeted his business and the fire was a hate crime. Two days before the fire, Hartsfield said someone left a noose hanging in his office and cut power cords to the truck. The insurance money plus donations from GoFundMe, even the Saquon tribe poured in, Tashner says, to the tune of more than $300,000. The defendant preyed on the San Diego community, on the, the trust and on the good natured spirit, on the good hearts that our community has. A few months after the fire, Hartsfield backtracked, telling GoFundMe donors the fire started from an electrical mishap, then offered to repay people. But a year later, in November 2022, prosecutors charge Hartsfield with arson and insurance fraud. After exhaustive court proceedings, Hartsfield now stands convicted of arson, insurance fraud, and grand theft, but says he'll keep up with his legal fight. I'm still going to be appealing this case. And he's been sentenced. Um, he's had a chance to be heard. He's had a chance to argue. And everyone has a right to appeal. Hartsfield has credit for time served of 116 days. That's just shy of four months. And the judge also told him he must pay restitution to the insurance companies, GoFundMe and Saquon. Each one of them has filed their own restitution request, including GoFundMe for $25,000. Hartsfield is due back in court here next month for that restitution hearing. Reporting live downtown, I'm Alani Latang, Fox 5 News.